Over the course of this series we're going to be creating a website very similar to this one. It's based off the English Premier League and it will allow us to record and track football games throughout an entire season. We'll be doing things like making a top scorer list as well as the results and fixtures as well as creating all of the necessary components needed to actually maintain a working football league website such as recording players to play in certain fixtures and recording goal scorers and all things like that. We're going to be using, as you can see, the Polymer framework from Google. The main reason behind using Polymer is simply because it's a new framework which I've not used before. But hopefully over the course of this series we'll get well acquainted with it and be able to make some impressive uses of it. We'll also be creating a MySQL backend to host the actual database, as well as creating our own PHP MVC framework to actually manage all of the pages and files that we're going to create. Because this series is aimed towards more advanced PHP users, I'm not going to go through the basics of installing PHP, MySQL, and things like that, but for reference, the tools that I'm using are, are MySQL, including MySQL Workbench. I'm going to be using XAMPP as my web server and I'll be using PHP for the majority of the code that we're writing. We'll be writing all of the codes using NetBeans as well as using Bower to actually download all of the packages that we're going to use. At the end of this we'll hopefully have a fully functional website which would actually be able to be used to manage a football league or similar. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a single lesson, which means that our actual table is going to fill up the entire width of this area that we give it. So very quickly we've been able to develop this template for our website using the elements provided within Polymer.